Okay, so today we have a special guest. Johnny Bravo. I found an awesome sleeveless shirt. And yes, uh, today we have our exploiting NFS task number four inside network services numero due. We're done, right? Not quite. If you have a low privilege shell on any machine and you found that a machine has an NFS share, you might be able to use that to escalate the privileges. Depending on how it is configured. What is root squash? By default, on NFS shares, root squashing is enabled and prevents anyone connecting to the NFS shares from having root access to the NFS volume. Remote root users are assigned a user NFS nobody when connected, which has the least local privileges. Now what we want? However, if this is turned off, it can allow the creation of SUID bit files, allowing a remote user to root access to the connected system. That is what we want. SUID, so what are files with the SUID bit set? Essentially, this means that a file or files can be run with the permissions of the file or files owner or group. In this case, as the super user, we can leverage this to get a shell with these privileges method. This sounds complicated, but really provided you're familiar with how SUID file works, it's fairly easy to understand. We're able to upload files to the NFS share and control the permissions of these files. We can set the permissions of whatever we upload. In this case, a bash shell executable. We can then log in through SSH as we did in the previous task and execute this executable to gain a root shell. The executable, due to compatibility reasons, we will obtain the bash executable this directly from the target machine. With the key obtained in the previous task, we can use SCP with the command, we have the command over here, to download it onto our attacking machine. Another method to overcome compatibility issues is to obtain a standard Ubuntu server 18.04 bash executable, the same as the servers as we know from our Nmap scan. You can download it over here. If you want to download it via the command line, we cannot do be careful not to download the GitHub page instead of the raw script. You can use, and here we have the entire command to download the script. Note that this method requires an internet connection, so you won't be able to download it when using a free attack box. Mapped out pathway. If this is still hard to follow, here's a step by step of the actions we're taking and how they all tie together to allow us to gain a root shell. We have the NFS access, from that we gain low privileges shell. Um, we upload the bash executable to the NFS share, set the SUID permissions through the NFS due to the misconfigured root squash, login through SSH, execute SUID bit bash executable, and we have root access. Let's do this. Answer the questions below. First, change directory to the mount point on your machine, where the NFS share should still be mounted, and then into the user's home directory. Here we are. Okay, download the bash executable to your downloads directory, then use the copy, all right, to copy the bash executable to the NFS share to copy the copy bash. The copy bash shell must be owned by a root user. You can set this using sudo ch own root bash. Okay, now we're going to add the SUID bit permissions to the bash executable, which is copied to the share using sudo chmod bash. What letter do we use to set the S's? Uh, uh, okay, let's set this sudo chmod plus s on bash. Let's do a sanity chat. Let's check the permissions of the bash executable using ls la bash. What does the permission set look like? Make sure that it ends with srx. List la bash. Yes, it ends like that. 
Okay, okay, what does the permission set look like? Okay, we go over here and we take this, place it here, boom. Now, SSH into the machine as the user, list the directory to make sure that the bash executable is there. Now, the moment of truth, let's run it with dot, okay, run from the, okay. The P permissions to um, so that it can run as root with SUID, as otherwise Bash will sometimes drop the permissions. It's cool. Now inside our cappuccino, we list that we go for. We want from the current directory Bash with P privileges, and under here we cat under the we cat root and we cat root.txt in order to get the flag. Amazing.